Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, I'm sharing with you the brand new unit from Gather Round Homeschool, the Ocean Unit Study. If you're not familiar with what Gather Round Homeschool is, I do have some other videos on my channel that go through the other units. But really quick, it's a unit study based curriculum created by Rebecca Spooner of Homeschool On. It is called Gather Round because it's meant for you to take all of your children from pre-K through high school, gather around together, read to them, and then hand out their individualized notebooks and everyone works from their notebook after you finish reading. So it's meant to really simplify your life. It includes everything except for math, so that's all you would need to have separate. If you want to know more about it, definitely go to her website, gatheraroundhomeschool.com. You're going to find all the information you need to know, what units are already out, what units she's planning on making. You'll also see pricing and printing options. This is the digital print that you can have them printed for you. You can also sign up to have samples emailed to you so you can try it out before you decide to purchase it. You can also join the Gather Around Facebook community where you'll find tons of helpful families. I love being a part of that community and I know you would too. So. I'm bringing you the Oceans Unit Study. This is the upper elementary notebook because I only have one child. So all you people out there with just one child or homeschooling only one child, don't feel like you're left out and can't use it because you certainly can. My son has thoroughly enjoyed this and we are so glad that we switched to this. So I also have a video about using this curriculum with one child. So you might want to check that video out too. So um, this is the upper elementary notebook. At the end of this video, I will show you the teacher's guide because I use the teacher's guide through Google Drive on my iPad. So I'll show you that at the end, but let's dive into this notebook. So what will happen is I would read from the teacher's guide and then my son would use his sheets for that day. If you wanna see how I organize these and get these ready, I do have a new video coming out that will show you how I organize the Asia unit and I'll be doing this with the Ocean unit as well. So. Here it is in all of its glory. So what we have here is the scope and sequence. Every um, notebook that you get is going to have a scope and sequence. It doesn't matter what level you get, you'll have a scope and sequence. So you have your language arts, that has your writing, your grammar, and your spelling. Your social studies and history has geography, history, social studies, ton of art, Then you have your Bible and your science, and there is all kinds of science, ocean features, other science topics, tons of stuff. Each of her units also includes a reading log, so as your kids are diving in and reading these wonderful books about the ocean, they can put it in their reading log. So you get a couple of pages of those, and then you have your table of contents. So you can see right off, you're gonna learn about creatures of the deep, the giant squid, crustaceans, luminescent fish, dolphins, the weird and the wonderful. Like all of this sounds like so much fun. I don't know about you, but we love going to the beach and we are fascinated with sea creatures. So this is gonna be so much fun. You also have an appendix and an answer key. Something I thought was excellent about this one that she's not included in her other ones is this coloring page. And you could even print more for your children if you wanted to, you could go look them up. But I think this will be great for my son so while he's listening to me read, he can keep his hands busy by coloring. So I wanna show you a few of the lessons. So you read from the teacher's guide and you discuss it. I always stop and discuss it as we're reading. And then we dive into these pages. I don't mean to keep saying diving because it's the ocean, but it works out pretty good, doesn't it? So this one's all about creatures of the deep. You'll answer a few questions and then your child will pick an animal that you've talked about that day and they will fill out this sheet. Then you have your science focus, which is ocean water pressure. So this will be a great hands-on science experiment that you could probably find on Pinterest if this doesn't explain it to you enough. But it tells you what to do, what do you think is going to happen, um, they're going to make a hypothesis, and it talks about how it works. There's also optional extension activities. If your kid's really into it or you just really want to extend the lesson, she'll put these at the end of each page, or not the end of each page, but on certain pages. If you see the same page alert, that means all of your kids have this page in their notebook. It just may vary in the way that it looks. 
Then you have your copy work and spelling, so they'll copy their Bible verse. What I usually do is I'll take the recommended word that she recommends for spelling, and then I also ask my son, is there anything else in this Bible verse that you think you cannot spell, that you might have trouble spelling when you do dictation? And he's pretty honest, and he usually picks out a couple of words, and we'll just practice those throughout the week. And he's usually fine, because I know he would probably have trouble with overwhelm, so that'd be a good time to work on that word. So we usually just circle them and we talk about them and then we practice them in many different ways. I have a video on how to make spelling fun. You can check that out too. Then you have ocean pollution. So this is your social studies. There's another same page alert and an extension activity. And then here's your art focus for that day to create a sea creature. Then let's look at lesson number two. You're gonna learn all about the giant squid when you read that day. You're gonna write or draw in the boxes to show what you've learned. Then here's your writing project. Now you do not work on your writing project every day. And that's really good because writing projects can be overwhelming. And who wants to do that to their child? I know I sure don't. So the writing project for this unit is a report. We're in space right now and we're writing a comic book and my son is loving it. So I really appreciate the different writing projects that we're doing. So ever so often in these lessons, you're gonna run upon, hey, let's work on that writing project again. So you're gonna work on a report and you're just gonna do some brainstorming. Then here's your grammar, and grammar is not every lesson, so don't freak out, it's totally okay. Your kids are gonna be fine if they don't do grammar every day. This is all about punctuation and dialogue. Then you're gonna learn about this trench and there is an extension activity. She'll tell you, hey, go watch this video. She's done all that extra work for you, so you're not having to go out and look for anything extra if you don't want to. It's totally open to go. Then you're gonna draw a giant squid. All right, let's go to lesson three. This is um, to choose one of the shark species and write about it. Then you're gonna talk about ocean zones. Here's your copy work and spelling. This is all about ocean freight with an extension activity. And then you're gonna draw a great white shark. Now, let's turn back kinda toward the back here. And let's see, let's go to lesson 16. So there's a ton of meat that we just skipped. Ton of meat in there that you are gonna just dive into all things ocean. You're gonna love it. But here's lesson 16. This is all about dangerous creatures, so they pick an animal, they write about what makes them dangerous, their appearance, their habitat, and interesting facts. This is your Bible for this day. You're going to talk about the verse where Jesus calmed the storm. Then they have their dictation, so you're going to practice that copy work, I believe, twice. If you wanted to do it more, you could, but I think it's in there twice, and then they do dictation. Then you learn all about invasive species, and this is really interesting. I think my son's gonna enjoy this, where that we get to name some invasive species and how we can prevent their spread. Um, and then there's an extension activity there. And then you're gonna draw the lionfish. This is all about coral reefs, snorkeling versus scuba diving. Oh, I skipped a page, I'm sorry. Here's your copy work and spelling. Disappearing coral, and this is where you research issues that are impacting the coral reefs and you write or draw your findings below and it even tells you where you can go to get some ideas. Then you're gonna draw a butterfly fish. It's a beautiful unit and it is so packed full of such valuable information. Your child is going to know so much about the ocean um, when you're finished, you're going to be amazed. And the way that she connects the social studies and the science and the grammar, it really just pulls it all together. And I think that's why my son is learning so much is because all of his learning is connected. And that makes a really big difference. When you can make all those connections, that's great. I would definitely recommend doing this if you live near the ocean or if you know you're going on a beach trip or even if you live near an aquarium. It'll be so much fun to do this and then go on a trip and take all this information with you. Let me show you the appendix back here. 
So there is an appendix, and in the appendix, you're going to find another coloring sheet, and you're going to find the answer key. Um, each of the appendices are different, appendices, appendixes. I have no idea what you call it, but they're different in each of the units I've noticed so far. So um, this is just what this one looks like. So you're going to have your answer key for any of the pages that need an answer. So if I were you, I would definitely check this out. I would go to her website, I would join that Facebook community, I would look up other moms, because there are other moms on YouTube who show different levels, because they have kids that are in like the pre-reader and the early elementary, and that way you could get a glimpse into those if you have that level child. So my son's in fifth grade and we use upper elementary and right now it's a perfect fit for him. So if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. Watch my other videos if, you, if oceans isn't your thing and you want to look at North American birds or Asia or space, definitely check those out. And I'm going to show you now the teacher's guide for oceans. This is the teacher's guide for the ocean unit study. And like I said previously, you can have this printed, but I prefer to just save it in Google Drive and open it up in my iPad. That way, if there's a video we need to watch or some pictures we want to go look up, we can do it right from here. I don't have to get up and go get it. I've got it right here and I'm reading from it. So let me show you the teacher's guide. You have that same coloring page. You have a note to the teacher that says, um, you know, welcome to this adventure. It kind of explains it to you. This right here, these are book recommendations or read-alouds for pre-readers and early readers. So if you like to go to your library and say, hey, can you find these books for me? Can we put these books on hold? You got it. Early elementary, upper elementary, middle school, and high school. Now, I love this. This is something I just noticed in this one. The supplemental books and the basket books, like if you do a morning basket, there's some information there. And then I love this. This takes that work away from me, where I go and try to find episodes of shows that my son likes. This kind of does it for me. He loves the Wild Kratts. Um, but this is your Wild Kratts Octonauts coordinating episodes. So this tells you like, hey, if you're learning about this fish, go watch this. This is excellent excellent that she's already put this together for you. Then she has a supply list so that you know ahead of time, these are the things I'm going to need for this week. You can go ahead and pull them and check them off. So there's all your supplies. And then if you need a lesson planner, she has one built in there for you. And it does look a little different, whoops, sorry. It does look a little different than what she used to have, but it's just as wonderful. Look at that. Oh, look at that beautiful coloring. Then we have the table of contents again. And so this is what it looks like. It has the stuff you're gonna read, pictures to share. Look at that fish. You're reading about all of these today and I know my son's gonna love this. All kinds of fish to talk about look at pictures and then it says okay open up your notebook to today's lesson and then it kind of gives you a day at a glance so that you'll know oh look we're hitting all of this today look at all that you're hitting remember all you have to add is math that's it and then she lists all of her sources and so this is how the whole book looks and you just read through it each day that's all you have to do you just read through it and then the kids sit and do their work. So that's awesome. So that's what this looks like. Um, I was gonna see if it had some stuff at the back. I know it's going really fast and you can't see, but um, oh, this tells you how to draw a starfish. I mean, a seahorse, what in the world? That was a seahorse, sorry. I wanted to see at the back what it looked like. Oh, deadly creatures, look at this. Man, if you could go to an aquarium while you were doing that, that would be excellent. So many fun things are like popping up in my head right now. Oh, there's that starfish I was talking about. The weird and the wonderful. That sounds like fun. So you can see it's a, a pretty large book with tons of information. All right, this is what I wanted to get to, the appendix. So the teacher's appendix, you have a map. 
your bodies of water. You have some cards. Oh, look at there, you can match them. I love it. So it has some facts, and then maybe your child can go and pick out the fish. I love it. How fun. I'm gonna have to print those, because I do not print the teacher's guide, but this would be so much fun to put in my ocean morning basket when we do this, to play this game. That would be great. So you even have this at the end of it. So, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions about Gather Around Homeschool or the Oceans Unit, leave them in the comments below. I love answering your questions and I love talking with you about this because I'm so passionate about it. We have really enjoyed it and we'd love to share it with anyone that will listen. So, um, thank you for watching again. Please like and subscribe and share with any of your friends that are curious about it. And thanks for watching.